some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Memphis, Tennessee, where we find a frauditor who, well, just doesn't understand what certain words mean and gets extremely butthurt at the fact that, well, he's not allowed into his building. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S-show on the road, shall we? What's up, Gen Expressers? How you doing today? I'm out here at a Shelby County facility. We got all kinds of buildings we can go into to make sure they understand that we can record in public. Isn't there something better you could do with your time, such as taking up a trade skill and making money that way? The world needs blacksmiths, and a lot of them make a good living on forging Damascus cutlery for uh, people who have the money for it. Or how about soap making? A lot of people do that, and they make a good living on it. But those are the kinds of things that add value to the world, not what you're doing. Just ask Craig. He ended up finding out the hard way. Now he's probably going to go to prison for a few years. Shelby County Sheriff's Office accreditation. Accreditation. Accredit, accredit, accreditation. It's pronounced accreditation. It's essentially a testing location at the local police academy. So in other words, this is the location where their uh, trainees come to take tests. And this is just one small part of this campus. I wonder if you actually knew this ahead of time, or did you just walk on here not knowing what you were getting yourself into? Based on your lack of ability to read the sign, I would wager the latter. Yeah, we're up here. Uh, I'm a little winded because I've walked a long way, so just uh, ignore that if you can. We're going to come over here and videotape. Again, this is uh, county property, so we can definitely come over here and uh, film. Close at four. Sir, I can help you. Uh, yeah, I'm just filming. Uh oh, you can't come here and film. Why? Sir, yeah, you gotta go. It's a public place, right? No, you can't. If, this is the sheriff's house, but you can't come in here. Is this in public, public no, property? No, sir, it's not public. This isn't public? No, it's not. What does it say right out here? Let's see. Shelby County Sheriff's Office. That would be public. Why don't you try reading the bottom as well? It says accreditation. Oh, wait, you don't know what that word means. You don't know that trainees go to to take the exams that they have to take to pass their courses. Oh, wait, you must never have gone to school, right? Either that or you dropped out in the fifth grade saying, Learn and be hard. I'm never going to use any of this fancy learning stuff. I'll just make my money hustling people for nickels and dimes out on the streets. That's sir, public. It's not public. It's, it's not, not public. public. Hold on a minute, sir. Call your supervisor. I'm the supervisor. Okay, this is public. Then you okay. know that I can film I'll in here. I'll be right out. Just give me a you, minute. You know that I can film you in can here. Film and do what you would like to do, but I'll be out in just a minute. Uh, are you pulling the door shut on me? No, sir. You pulling the door. No, I'm just door, holding sir. the door. Just hold me. Let, let me close the door for a minute. I'll be right there. Who are you, dude? Sir, I'll be right there. Giving back. me directives. Who the hell do you think you are? Access denied. Your pathetic, meaningless existence is not recognized. Who are they? They're the ones that you asked for. 
That's the one that's the supervisor. That's the one that can tell you if you're allowed in the building. That's who that person is. Or did you automatically forget that you asked for a supervisor? Yeah, I know. Uh, you don't have that many brain cells, so I guess that processing power just isn't there to understand that uh, you did ask for a supervisor. You got the supervisor instantaneously, and, well, you were denied entry. So go home and cry in your little pillow. So that's what we get. Yeah, uh, Shelby County. We've already got a big ass lawsuit with these. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, so you've got a lawsuit going. Yeah, that's well and good. But the question is, will you win? That's the biggest question right there, because the majority of these cases really don't go anywhere. And they got to come out here acting like tyrants. First building we walked into. Kind of interesting. Uh, I think if they knew uh, what kind of lawsuit I got with them, they would uh, gladly let me in. Got a Karen over here. That person's just sitting in their car. How do you know if they're a Karen or not until you've actually interacted with them? Yeah, kind of makes you wonder, are you that damn butthurt about not getting into the building that you're projecting your own uh, feelings upon everybody else, uh, projecting that they are the ones that are completely butthurt? Yeah, I'll give you some relief for that later on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, peeps. I'm uh, did I say peeps? I'm not gonna lie, Gen X fam. Uh, a little more nervous than usual today because I am over here in the Shelby County government. Uh, these are the ones that violated my rights, and uh, will be paying dearly for that. So I haven't had any contact with them at all since the incident. Oh, so they violated your rights. Uh, kind of makes me wonder, did you violate the law or anything like that? Uh, yeah, if you violate the law, then of course you're going to be put in jail or something like that. I mean, it's only natural. This is a country of laws, you douchebag. Now, by some coincidence, Gen X Press right here ends up meeting this new auditor at the local property assayer's office where they have no trouble, but it's kind of coincidental that a new frauditor would be hanging out there at the same time that he showed up. Huh, kind of makes you wonder if this was prearranged, doesn't it? A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, all right, Gen Expressers, check it out. What's your name again? I'm Daryl. This is Daryl right here. Daryl's uh, getting into auditing. So you guys comment in the comment section how, uh, how, how, say, Daryl, get out there. Going out there with Will. You guys, you guys uh, stir some stuff it. up. Yeah. Yeah. So basically stir up the pot, stir up the drama, stir up everything like that. Yeah, that's your only goal in life is to stir up the shit, isn't it? Speaking of stirring the pot, 
They decided to go stir the pot at a local bank. That seems to be the hot new trend with all these frauditors lately. Go film a bank and see if you can get yourself arrested for uh, casing a bank or anything like that. Yeah, they have no brains whatsoever. So, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and end it right here, folks. I mean, this guy ended up encountering a new frauditor by coincidence and ended up getting extremely but heard about getting kicked out of that office over there. So let's just go ahead and give him a consolation prize of BHK's Butt Hurt Cream, formulated by a bunch of damn dirty elves inside of a tree somewhere. Uh, so you might want to be careful. You don't know what's in that stuff. In fact, I've heard rumors that it might be causing gigantic hemorrhoids. Yeah, so it might make your butt hurtitis worse. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?